Steps on Running, the flagship series that celebrates athletes in action. First up to California for the 35th running of the Los Angeles Marathon presented by ASICS. A rush hour you don't want to miss. This is where the fast guys come to play. The Fifth Avenue Mile. If you hesitate, you're toast. Let's get dirty! Plenty of mud to go around for you and your team. The Dirty Girl series guarantees the deluxe full body treatment. The 50th New York City Marathon is coming up on November 1st. Time for a look back to the 25th, 1994. Herman Silva makes a wrong turn. Can he recover? Lots of ups and downs. An energetic look at the wide and wonderful world of obstacle and adventure racing. Fasten your seatbelt. They come to celebrate fitness and the joy of the journey. In the Diva's half marathon on Long Island, the vibe never stops. To the West Coast for yet another exciting chapter in the Road Racing Encyclopedia. The 35th Los Angeles Marathon presented by ASICS is about to launch. Off the line first with a 6.30 a.m. start, the wheelchairs. The best plan for a good finish, find someone to work with, take turns leading, and cover those miles. Fifteen professional women are off the line next. Great racing conditions. Up ahead, a few miles in the morning, cool before the sun warms things up. Then the professional men, followed by a field of 21,000 aiming for Santa Monica 26 miles ahead. Total prize purse for the fastest, $100,000. It's a fine day for racing. Experienced marathoners know to be on autopilot in the early miles. Meet and greet and the miles just fly by. Easy to do some California dreaming when you're in the middle of a bunch of happy runners. The lead pack of men just ambles along on the traffic-free streets of LA. A chance to size up your competition. The winning purse is $23,000, so best to stay in contact until the real racing begins. First-time marathoner Margaret Marenghi of Kenya leads Almaz Negeti of Ethiopia halfway through the 26-miler. Looking back to an earlier year of the race, definitely rush hour in the early miles. Plenty of time to ease into your pace. The beat is on for sure. First, to get to the Santa Monica finish line, they work together the whole race to break away from the pack. On the left, Jose Hernandez of Costa Rica. On the right, Rafael Jimenez of Spain. A mile to go, and in the white, it's John Legat of Kenya and Bailin Teshigur of Ethiopia in lockstep. Margaret Muriuki has broken free and leads the women in this her first ever marathon. Bailin Teshiger in his first marathon has broken free of all competition and savors the final yards in downtown Santa Monica along the Pacific. A nice $23,000 payday. Then it's Margaret Muriuki across in a personal best of 229.29. And over the next several hours, Santa Monica will come alive with runners and spectators. Nothing like getting to that finish line. The Los Angeles Marathon presented by ASICS. A California street level adventure, one mile at a time.
Now a running series golden moment, the 2012 Fifth Avenue Mile Elite Men's Race. Centrowitz, fourth in the 2012 London Olympics just weeks earlier, Manzano second in that race, and Bernard Lagat, defending champion here in the Fifth Avenue Mile, a New York Roadrunners event. A 20 block straight shot from 80th Street to 60th Street. Cutting to the chase, the victory here on 5th always seems to go to the guy who hangs around the lead and saves his kick for the very, very last moment. The finish line looms large, so it's very easy to go too early. We join the race with about a quarter mile to go. Garrett Heath in the red takes his shot at the front. Manzano and Lagat just a step behind, ready to pounce. Then, Falmouth Mile winner David Torrance goes by on the inside. Lagat has waited long enough and goes as he did a year earlier for the win. Then, astonishingly, Matt Centrowitz has yet another gear and blast spot. Centrowitz waiting to the very final yards to unleash his sprint. Centrowitz, Lagat, Manzana. The 2012 Fifth Avenue Mile. A running series golden moment. Let's get dirty! Up next, a little fitness, a lot of fun. Dirty Girl, just you, your team, and the mud. The starting line's call, and your heart rate jumps knowing what's up ahead. A road race with hills and thrills. An obstacle race that will leave you humble yet proud of your effort. A triathlon that squeezes every bit of energy out of your body. Yet, you are on a crusade and keep coming back for more. The rewards of the finish line are treasured. A test of who you are and what you do. The courage to start running and racing the active lifestyle sports. Running, cycling, triathlon, obstacle, all offer a playing field as large as your heart is willing to go. You savor the thick of things. Sometimes it's a battle, a struggle. Sometimes it's a magic carpet ride. But without the high pulse commitment, your world is not complete. This is your universe. Visit gettyimages.com. Editorial video, search Salmini. From the Running Series archives, Tri-State Dirty Girl in Pemberton, New Jersey calls on all ladies to get out of their comfort zone and let the hair down for a good cause. Dirty Girl! Go Team Phil! Woo! Not your typical pre-start warm-up, nor is what's ahead. Tri-State is one of the Dirty Girl events across the country. And wearing the team t-shirt gets you into the action a little quicker and a little deeper. With the goal of inspiring women to stay proactive in their breast and ovarian cancer health, Dirty Girl is a proud supporter of Bright Pink, an organization dedicated to the prevention and early detection of breast and ovarian cancer. Run distance is about 5K, but no one is counting. Lots of pink, bright pink, when you leave the starting area. The festive course takes you up and down and through. You knew this was coming. By the time you get to the pink wall, you know you're in for a full body adventure. Go Dirty Girl! We're the Lareda Sucias, the filthy queens of Brooklyn. <laughs> Some choreography at the one mile mark, but about to change to a more street level performance.
There's no clock, and the reason we do that is because we're really encouraging all women, all shapes and sizes, to come out, have a good time, and do something unexpected, push themselves to get over these obstacles and really just do something they might not have done otherwise. The Dirty Girl is really unique because, of course, it's all women, um, and it's just a really fun way for women to get out and do something unexpected, do something that challenges them, uh, get out of their daily routine, and just come out and have fun with the girls. So we think that's a really good reason to just get out, come out with your friends, family, support breast cancer awareness, and come out for a good cause. Bright Pink is great. Their focus is early detection for breast cancer and ovarian cancer awareness. Uh, we are just so happy to be partnered with them to promote early detection, uh, getting young women and old women alike out there and becoming aware of the steps you need to take to do, get that early prevention. Seeing some women come across, and this is the first 5K they've ever completed. It's a really cool feeling for them. Seems like there's always more mud at the next station. Dirty girl, a little fitness, a lot of fun, a ladies day out of the office, all for a great cause. It's your chance to shine, so to speak. Up next, the New York City Marathon has had more than its share of exciting finishes. How about 1994? A wrong turn, and then a sprint for the tape. with a fringe group wanting more. They did their 10Ks and marathons and now demanded another level to test themselves with new challenges. The unknown, the trail less chosen. Make it hard, make it nasty, and my team and I will be there. Obstacle and adventure racing blew up the sports world with unmanicured courses with enough mud and barbed wire to get you to the front lines. You need your team and they need you. The courage to start running and racing. The starting line's call, and your heart jumps knowing what's up ahead. A road race with hills and thrills. A full marathon that will leave you humble, but proud of your effort. You push comfort aside because it's race day. Sports stock footage now available for your broadcast, corporate, or internet project. Visit GettyImages.com. Editorial video, search Salmini. A great way to accelerate your project into the fast lane. The painting of the blue line the week before the New York City Marathon. On race day, tens of thousands will follow this blue line from the start in Staten Island to the finish in Central Park. Now a look back at a great New York City Marathon moment. Sunday, November 6, 1994. Race day arrives cloudy with a little rain in the forecast. New York City policemen and firemen form a human shield to hold back the mass of runners from the elite competitors and Mayor Giuliani greets the front line. Except for the elite out front, the pace over the Verrazano is somewhat of a function of where you started in the pack. 
The bridge is the largest hill on the entire marathon course, and it will be several miles before the crowds are thin enough for the average runner to get into his or her proper pace. But the leaders hit it hard from the gun. About 12 miles of the race is in Brooklyn, mostly flat and mostly on 4th Avenue. Coming into Manhattan on the 59th Street Bridge, all the pre-race favorites are in the lead pack. With about a half a mile to go on Central Park South, number 10, Herman Silva, runs shoulder to shoulder with Mexican training partner Benjamin Paredes. Several years later, Herman Silva reflects back on those final yards. I was already very um, secure and relaxed because I knew I was faster than him uh, in, this, in, any, in the sprint and, and I was stronger, so I was not worried at all. Suddenly, Silva follows a TV truck off the course. Paredes seizes the moment and shifts into high gear. Silva realizes his mistake and now the question, can he catch Paredes in the half mile to the finish line? The only time I worry a lot was when I took a wrong way because I didn't know how long it still was to how long it still was to, to finish. Especially in that point of the race, that is almost the end. You 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 have to. It's important to know uh, uh, who is stronger than who. Uh, if, especially if you are running with some uh, a partner. Eh? So I really was focused, and I, as I thought the day before, that I was going to win. And I have never done before that I can say, hey, tomorrow I'm going to win because people will think, yes, you are a liar. Eh? I was lucky because it still was a, a little bit long way, like a kilo, half, half mile. And that was enough for me to catch Benjamin. With 300 yards to go, Silva catches and passes Paredes. Somehow he is able to accelerate and gain a few yards on the game Paredes. The 1994 New York City Marathon champion, Herman Silva, across in 211-21 with Paredes two seconds back. On that cool November Sunday, many runners recorded their personal fastest times, and word of the Mexican 1-2 finish reached the crowd. For Herman Silva, a wrong turn, a great finishing kick, and a laurel wreath. A great New York City Marathon moment. You guys are part of the Now to the starting lines for a preview of some of the top adventure and obstacle races across the country. This fitness craze might just turn your world upside down. First up, to the urban mutter at Randall's Island in Upper Manhattan. You might conclude that the course designers have a mean streak, <laughs> and you might be right. Get a grip. It will come in handy with the adventures up ahead. You're five miles and a million light years from Central Park. For a few moments, let gravity take charge. Now, across New York Harbor to Liberty State Park in Jersey City for the Tough Mudder. You find out right away why mud is in the name of the event. No warm and fuzzy at the end of this shoot. Oh no! Oh yes. Water, mud, and electricity. That's a combination that can have a shocking result. At a tough mutter, you can be left hanging. But that's what friends are for. Teamwork. Perhaps the greatest appeal of the obstacle racing world. Spartan Tuxedo, New York. About 40 miles from Times Square. No neon here. 
Lots of ups and downs. Heavy lifting guarantees there will be sore muscles tomorrow. Sweaty, dirty, near exhaustion. A small price to pay for the joy and the camaraderie that waits at the finish line. One more thing. Let's heat things up a bit and wait until the temperature is just right. You've come this far, no stopping now. Obstacle and adventure racing, a world for those demanding a little more from themselves and their teammates. Up next, in case you didn't notice, the divas have come to town. Don't miss the feather boa and a tiara station as you near the finish line. Fitness became the new craze. Testing yourself with a marathon was a rite of passage, and the boom never looked back. Open to all, the sport of road racing. You are now the star. You push comfort aside because it's race day. The courage to start running and racing. The starting lines across America await, and the active fitness crowd is ready to take care of business. Running, triathlon, Obstacle racing. Put up a start banner and they will come and give it their all. Sports stock footage now available for your broadcast, corporate, or internet project. Visit GettyImages.com editorial video search Salmini. A vast source of video clips featuring athletes in action. In case you didn't notice, the Divas have come to town. From the Running Series archives to Eisenhower Park on Long Island, a main stop on the Divas race series. No world records here unless you choose to include the non-stop vibe along the course that is the Diva experience. Pink, pretty and powerful from near and far. Philadelphia! All right, ladies, you're working the diva. Keep it going. Woo! Woo! Where are you from? Woo! Where are you Where from? You? from? I'm Connecticut. <laughs> I'm from Manio, North Carolina. New York. Woo! Woo! Uh, Westchester. All right, all right. New Jersey. <laughs> With a mile to go in the 13.1 miler, a feather boa and a tiara will glide you to the finish line. I guess you could call it road racing, but it's more about the shared miles and new friendships. Diva events become family affairs with nice crowds elevating your experience. Never in the course of road racing has 13.1 miles passed so effortlessly under your feet. The Diva Experience. Lots of miles and a full heart and soul of strong women on the move. Go Pink! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Go Divas! That's all for this episode of Running. I'm Jill Goodwin. See you wherever our next adventure brings us.